Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. We'll go over how to install Python 3 on Windows 10. First, let's check to make sure that we don't already have Python installed, because you never know. We can do this by opening the command prompt by either typing cmd in the search bar on the bottom left of the taskbar, or clicking Windows icon and typing cmd. Now that we have the command prompt open, we can type Python and hit enter. If an error message comes up, that's actually a good thing this time. Uh, that means Python isn't installed on our machine and we can go ahead and install Python. To do this, we can search for Python in Google and click on the download section in the python.org website. We can download the latest stable version of Python by clicking the big yellow button. If you are on a Mac or Linux, you can click the links here to find the appropriate downloads. You can also find older versions of Python down below, just in case you wanted something a little older. We're going to download the latest version of Python at the time of filming, Python 3.8. So that's by clicking this big yellow button. We can run the executable. This process might be a little bit different depending on what browser you're using. When the installer pops up, we can begin installing Python. If you do not have any other versions of Python installed on your machine and are not planning on installing any other versions, we can check the add Python 3.8 to path. We will install now by clicking install. Just as a recap, you can click add Python 3.8 to path if you don't already have a version of Python installed on your machine and are not planning on installing other versions. This will just make it a little easier to run our scripts in the future and might save a little bit of headache. I'm going to disable path length limit. This isn't normally a problem, but can be frustrating when it is. To make sure that Python is installed correctly, let's open the command prompt again. If you haven't closed it from when we checked to see if it was installed on our machine, exit out of the command prompt and reopen it. Once you're there, type Python again, hit enter, this time you should see something that says Python followed by the version number with three angled brackets on the side. Let's run our first Python program by typing print followed by parentheses, quotation mark, hello world. Close quotation and parentheses and hit enter. And that's it. That was your first Python program after your new install of Python. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Comment below with any questions or future videos you'd like to see. Thanks.